We are around that time of the year when people start giving out lists of the books they are going to read in 2024. And 90% of them are mid at best. Usually these kinds of videos make a top 10 list addressing the books you'd gain something out of. But I really believe they are informational hazards you'd rather stay away from. Many people talk about the books you should read. But very few talk about the books you shouldn't waste your time on. They are informational hazards in the way that they will keep you trapped in the frame of mind of the common Joe. Now, look at the results of the average person. If that's what you want, then read what they read. But if you've always been a misfit since birth, and it's not something you use as a personality trinket you gain from TikTok, then it's time to listen. You cannot afford to read mainstream books. They are cookie cutter templates for staying in the middle. They are designed from the very beginning to resonate with the widest amount of people as possible. Because that's what gets the most sales. They are at best watered down versions of the real cutting edge information the writer has in storage. And that is done in order to soothe as many souls as possible. I've wasted my time with many books in the mainstream. How to win friends and influence people, the subtle art of not giving a fuck, and even books that sound edgy and revolutionary like the 48 laws of power. While not all information is bad, it's leading you astray. You read these kinds of popular books and then you think to yourself that you've gained the most esoteric unknown knowledge on the planet. If it were esoteric, my friend, it wouldn't be on the front middle row of the bookstore. The problem is not that the information in those books is bad. The problem is that if you think that's the best there is, you've been led astray. I see bookstores as the beginning phase of the journey. It's the time you find your preferences and see what you would like to pursue more. But the moment you start truly believing that those options are the best there are, is the moment you've placed a ceiling above your head. You start moving through life, applying that knowledge. And whenever reality doesn't act in accordance to those learned maps, you start defending them. You start defending the smart guy in the smart suit that wrote something smart in a book. Because they are seen as authority. Another reason you shouldn't read most books is that they are not the right kind of book for the current version of you. Some books are best used for inspiration rather than actual knowledge. Take an out-of-body view at your current situation in life and tell me what part of you has any use for the information of a billionaire's biography. Chances are that you are just a regular folk with a regular job, potentially wanting to start a business or an online endeavor. So what in the fuck does a billionaire have to teach someone in a place like you? The gap between your levels in life are beyond imaginable. At best, the words of a billionaire are to the average Joe as good as a Netflix show. They will never really apply to most. The way you get from broke fella to unbroke fella is different from the way you get from 10 million income to 100 million income. There is no use for such books, it's just another neat way to waste time. Books should be highly tailored to you and your specific needs in life. Paradigm shifting books are rare and those are the kinds of books you want to read. If a book throws a step-by-step -step plan at you or a bunch of bullet points you have to follow, you should probably put it down. Outside of mechanical matters such as learning to code, to cook or building something physical, those are kinda useless. A step-by-step -step way of thinking in any realm that has any resemblance of art is a waste of time. Most of life is art and quite a small amount of mechanical. The biggest problems we seek solutions for are in the realm of the metaphysical, as the mechanical problems have mostly been solved. They are of the realm of art and should be treated as such. Books are highly personal and the way I go about discovering them nowadays is by following small Twitter accounts of people I respect the thought process of. People that have unique ways of viewing the world have been exposed to certain types of experiences or information that cannot be shaped by the word of the mainstream. Such people may sometimes drop a gem into the crowd for people to pick up. I know that's how I found the best books I've read. 
following the people I respect the minds of, until they may drop some breadcrumbs that got them to their understanding. Never read books based on trends, based on numbers and based on speed, but based on the understanding you seek to obtain. And remember, if it's popular, it means that the understanding had to be toned down to the masses. If you seek deep understanding, you are meant to surf at the edges. Truth is rarely found in the public domain, because in order for something to reach the mind of the common man, it has to be brought down to easy to digest memes. It has to be brought to the battlefield of the language war. The language war is fought and won by the ones that can bring the most complex ideas into the swiftest mental razors. In order to do that, you have to dilute ideas until every person can stomach the taste. You want to be the one that can drink the whole poison. This is how you will gain deep understanding, by drinking the extreme. And as always, cheers for watching.